So I have a little life rule that I wanted to share with you, and I'd be the first to admit it's not particularly witty, it's not particularly profound, it's not particularly academic, but it's a simple little rule that I've instituted in my own life. And um, and to be fair, I've had some success with it. I, I think that it has made me a happier person to follow this rule. The rule is this, it's nice and simple. Uh, at any given time, I only care about what 10 people on this planet think of me. It's a very specific number and I stick to it. If I find myself caring about the opinions of more people than I can count on two hands, I have to come to the conclusion that I care too much and I need to reevaluate. Now for you, it could be more or less. Maybe you have 10 kids and so there's probably more than 10 people whose opinions you care about, or you might have a really tight uh, friendship circle and you care about what those people think about you. And that's, and that's fair enough. But for me, 10 is more than I need. And the people who top that list are my wife, for obvious reasons. She knows where I sleep. Uh, the next people whose opinion I care about are my children, because I'm trying to raise them to be good people. And I certainly hope that they think I am a good person and have a good opinion of me. Um, I care what my parents think about me. But of course, as you get older, you, you care less and you go in your own direction. And I have a few close friends whose opinions matter to me. Now, the reason why these people's opinions matter to me is that we have a mutual impact on one another's lives. They are close enough to my inner circle that they have the capacity to uh, to influence my life for the positive or the negative. They bring something to my life that I would miss if they were not there. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, why would I care what more than 10 people think about me? Some of you, for some of you, this might be uh, totally obvious, but I think for a lot of people, it's not. For a lot of people, uh, a lot of people care a great deal about what everybody thinks about them and we are trying to uh, keep ourselves up to a certain standard and uh, for a lot of people the worst thing that can possibly happen to us is for someone to say they're not a big fan of us or they don't like us. I used to care a lot what people think of me and what people thought of me and I can still get into that place but when I was younger I valued the opinions of people around me more than I valued myself. Uh, ironically, I was not on my list of the 10 people whose opinions matter to me. And that's gonna be the punchline of this video. You should be number one on that list. Um, I ran around seeking the approval of other people, trying to get their affirmation because somehow I lacked the capacity to approve of myself or affirm my uh, myself and my own opinion of myself. I ran around and I spent a lot of time trying to get other to people, other people to like me because I thought that maybe if other people liked me, I would be likable or I could like myself. But if you've ever followed that particular path, you know it doesn't work out that way. That's simply not how self-esteem and uh, a good opinion of yourself works. Uh, there's the expression, I, I am my own man. Well, in those days, I was not my own man. I was everybody else's man. I was not my own person. I was everybody else's person. And this, of course, caused me a fair amount of anxiety and, uh, and misery. I don't know what your opinion of this is, but I find uh, in the last few years, social media has made this a lot worse. Of course, I'm pushing 50, so I remember a day when there was no such thing as social media or cell phones or tablets or podcasts or, or anything like this. Um, and so there was a fairly small circle of people whose opinion I could have access to. But, uh, but now we have people commenting, complete strangers from other countries on the other side of the world who are uh, daring to uh, give us their opinion of things that we post on social media, things that we say, things that we think, things that we do. Now that's a losing battle uh, to try to make everybody happy. If you try to sway everybody's opinions, if you try to make everybody on your social media feed happy, you're going to be a very miserable person. It is a losing battle, so I wouldn't even recommend getting involved. Um, I know for a lot of people, the opinions of their followers matter, and sometimes I'm sad to say I let that matter too, but most of the time I can bring myself back to center and say, you know what, they're not really on my list. They're not someone who can impact me or affect me in any significant way. Now, there are some people I hear say very loudly and very often, I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I don't give a damn. Now, 
First of all, I question the truth of that statement. Um, I think a lot of times that's hiding insecurity. Uh, people who say that very often and very loud, I don't care what people think of me, often care a great deal, but they want to convey the image that they don't care because that conveys an image of strength in their minds. Um, the other question, the other thing that that makes me question is um, the wisdom of saying I don't care about what other people think. The people who are in my inner circle, the people who are on my list of 10 are there for a very good reason. And it is because I consider them to be wise and I consider them to be loving and I consider them to be compassionate. I consider them to be people who don't judge me and want the best for me. And so they're in my inner circle because I value their opinions. Other people not so much. As the saying goes, only fools take no counsel. The people who uh, love us and are closest to us often see when we're going off the rails uh, far sooner than we do, and uh, they can help us get back on track. So I think we should care about what some people think about us, just maybe not as many people as we typically do, and certainly uh, we shouldn't care as much about what people think of us. I remember once having a conversation with uh, with a friend of mine, and we were talking about a mutual acquaintance uh, that I really didn't like. Um, this person had not done anything particularly wrong to me, but they just annoyed me. Their their tone of voice and the things they talked about just irritated me. Um, and I was complaining loudly to my friend about this person. And uh, and at one point, my friend asked me, "How much uh, how much rent are you charging him?" And I said, what are you talking about? He doesn't live with me. And he said, how much rent are you charging him to live in your head? And I got the point. In high school, uh, or elementary school for that matter, and maybe even beyond that into our adult lives, the point was to have the, the biggest quantity of friends. We wanted to have the most people at our birthday party, more than our neighbor, more than our friend, more than our colleague. Uh, it was really about the numbers. It was about the head count. But as you get older, um, you find that it's not so much the quantity of friends that you want in your lives. It's not a big number. You want quality uh, relationships. So what I'm advocating is that we should have fewer people in our lives, not more, but those people should be of a higher quality than some of the other people that we have in our lives. Of course, social media turns this on its head. It's all about the numbers. It's all about how many likes you get, how many followers, et cetera, et cetera. But in reality, I don't know if you guys are video gamers, uh, probably some of you are, but you've probably heard of NPCs, non-player characters. These are characters that are just sort of controlled by the machine, controlled by the game. They don't actually really impact the, uh, the course of the game. I think we should have this list of 10 people, more or less, and we should view everybody else as a non-player character. Not that we should disregard people or put them down. Everybody is of value, of course. But in terms of how much we let other people's opinions of us impact us and influence us, I think we should view most people as non-player characters. So I have a little trick, you know, to uh, to figure out who is on my list. And, and I, it's actually a, a physical thing that I do when someone gives me an opinion, which is, of course, usually unsolicited most of the time. I actually physically hold out my hand uh, and I look at it as though I am consulting a clipboard that has a list of people. And it's the people I pretend I'm an exclusive establishment. I'm an exclusive club or a resort. And I'm trying to decide who gets in. And I look up this list. And if this person is not on my list, I disregard. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that we should consider ourselves to be above anybody else. I'm not trying to say that we should be egotistical or, or anything or pretentious or anything like that. But I think so many of us put ourselves beneath other people and prioritize the opinions uh, of people that we place above us. What I'm saying is that not that we should put ourselves above other people, but we should stop putting ourselves beneath other people. We should be number one on our list of people whose opinions matter. So make sure you're on top of your list.